Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Alpine Rhino Bear View. Today we are doing another update, an update number one, the first update for the Albino Rhino Beer Festival. As always, the Albino Rhino Beer Festival will be held at the Sanctuary Center for the Arts slash Brimstone Brewing Company at 209 Ridge Road North in Ridgeway, Ontario. It will, as always, be held in May, May 27th, 2017, from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tickets will be $20 in advance, uh, $25 at the door. Uh, currently, tickets are not on sale. They will go on sale in January, both on Ticket Scene, like usual, and there will be hard tickets available at Brimstone, hopefully at a few of the other local breweries. Uh, food vendors. Food vendors, we are at six of our possible eight. I haven't actually been fully uh, panhandling around for a uh, for those last two food vendors. Food vendors, I always end up filling. Uh, I never have a problem with it, and there's always food vendors that come at the last minute and are like, we would love to be here. So, food vendors, I will fill. I probably won't even start trying to fill the last two spots until March-ish. Um... But yeah, six six of our eight or so far done. Uh, you can find you can find a listing. Well, you can find the logos for all the different vendors on the Albino Rhino Beer Beer Festival Facebook page. Uh, on on update number two, I'll list them all out. Uh, update number two will be done closer to the end of the month, probably on New Year's Eve or so, and hopefully we're closer to full on the breweries. Breweries were at twenty three breweries. Uh, I can fit forty. I'm hoping for thirty eight. Last year we had thirty four. If I if I get thirty six, I'm happy. Just an organic growth, even an organic growth of one or two breweries, I'm happy. Uh, I still think that thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight. I uh, thirty anywhere from thirty four to thirty eight Ontario craft breweries in one spot is a great value to you and a great value to me and a great uh, a great show of Solidarity behind the cause of donating money to the Ronald McDonald House of Hamilton. Um, again, uh, proceeds go to the Ronald McDonald House of Hamilton. Uh, our, 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 our festival, the, my festival has grown organically uh, in that I don't actually spend money on marketing for the most part. I do Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, some Instagram stuff, and word of mouth mostly. Um, because I don't have sponsorships, I don't have any sponsors. I don't have uh, I don't have a group of people really helping me until the day of. Then I have my group of volunteers that help me actually run the thing. But all organization comes through me while I'm while I'm doing everything else. So I I don't have that extra money to go out and get radio ads and this and that. So the fact that we went from 400 people to 900 people to 1300 people and hopefully this year 15 or 1600 people I'm hoping it is amazing to me the fact that our our donations have gone from just over a thousand I think the first year we had like a thousand and two dollars to thirty four hundred dollars to sixty six hundred dollars last year is amazing to me just the fact that uh, that that the festival has grown this way and uh, what we can do with the festival has grown this way. I, I make the festival as cheap as I can for you guys and as, as cheap as I can for the vendors to still be able to to uh, pay the overhead that a festival takes. Glassware, insurance, your license, fencing, porta potties, ice. There's a huge expense. Like uh, I really should have gone into some of these, some of these. Uh, <laughs> these businesses because when you start renting stuff and you see the price on some of it, it's like wow. Wow. Um, again, you can see what breweries are involved on the Facebook page on update number two. I'll talk about it. Now, the breweries themselves, I do have people all the time. Can you get this brewery to go? Can you get that brewery to go? I can't force anybody to come. I can ask them. Um, where we're at right now with breweries, there are a lot of breweries that have been there every single year or every year but one that I haven't gotten a response from yet. Now, when I do this, when I start this, uh, and I'm very upfront and open on how I do this so that you guys know what's going on too. I send my first email in October. I send another email November 1st. I send, uh, I do a phone call November 15th. And then uh, d December 1st, I sent another email. Uh, so a lot of these breweries that have been there every year, I haven't heard anything from yet. Uh, do I expect them to be there or not? As of right now, no, because I have heard absolutely nothing. I haven't heard them thinking about it. I haven't heard anything. Um, but every single brewery in Ontario has been contacted either by Facebook, by phone, or by email. Uh, I had two no's come back from breweries and one no from a cidery. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you're, if you're coming or not. It doesn't matter. Just thank you for sending me a response so I know that you've received it. 
Um, I had two that said they want in, and this was in October, and I sent them the paperwork, the registration papers, and they have never sent them back. I've sent them a couple of messages. Are you still in? I need your registration so I can put you in an outdoor spot or an indoor spot before other breweries get in. Because as soon as, if a brewery pays me and gives me the registration form, they move ahead of you, even if you told me you were involved in October, but you haven't registered yet. You're, you're, you're in limbo. You're in no as of right now. Um, so those two breweries are, are fairly new breweries. Uh, I, I would be excited to have them there. They make some great beer. Uh, now, again, as I said, there's breweries that have not responded to me at all uh, that people have asked me about. Innocente, Block 3, Refined Fool, a Silversmith, Oast House, um, Niagara Brewing Company. So there, there's six right there. That uh, Flying Monkeys, there's seven of possible 15. That Seven that I expected to be there because they've basically supported me or fought to get in. Uh, Niagara Brewing Company was slid in at the last minute last year. Um, and then the other ones are Niagara Brewing, Niagara Area Breweries that have always been there and always supported me. Or breweries that have always been there and always supported me and had a great time at it each year. So it, it, it's, it's, it's one of those things where... Uh, where I don't know. Um, I've I've been asked about Sawdust City many times. Uh, I've sent uh, Sawdust City. I, I phoned them once. I didn't get anyone in events or anything. Uh, but I did email both Sam and uh, and their info line and everything else. Uh, in all honesty, I haven't I haven't had a response from Sawdust City in. Oh, this will be the the third year. They were at the first outdoor year. First outdoor festival, so this is th three festivals later that I haven't gotten a response from them, so I don't think they'll, they'll ever really be there. Um, yeah, uh, Bellwoods, everybody always asks about Bellwoods. Maybe next year we'll have Bellwoods. Bellwoods was unable to come for the first few years because they have such a small area and their, their demand is so high. Uh, but this year they have their production facility up and running, but they, they said that the... The beers coming out of their production facility aren't quite up to par yet. They haven't uh, they haven't been able to upscale the the recipes to their liking as of yet. So maybe next year we'll we'll have them there. Uh, it'll it'll be great if they can start coming out. Uh, they are one of the really really sought after breweries in Ontario. Um, yeah, so that, that's where we're at. Uh, if you guys want a brewery there, talk to them about the festival. Talk to them about why you want them at the festival. I'm I'm uh, an extremely easy guy to get a hold of. All my information is always online. Um, yeah, that, that's where we're at. Uh, hopefully by the end of December, today is December 5th. Hope uh, No, today's December 6th now. December 6th. So hopefully in the next 25 days, I can uh, I can at least get us to 30 breweries. I can at least get seven more breweries on there, and then the last eight spots we can fill up afterwards. Uh, they'll they'll fill up before the before the festival itself. I'm sure. Uh, again, I just like being very open to the people that come. I do very much appreciate you coming out to the festival and supporting what I'm doing, uh, especially because I just started as a fucking idiot in the basement drinking. Uh, the fact that I went from an idiot that drank back there when it was just a fucking exposed cinder block wall to uh, having all my buddies here with me having a great time to uh, being somebody that's brewed at some breweries and goes to breweries and does the, the beerumentary series and all that and runs a beer festival the fact that I went from a guy drinking uh, drinking Tuborg and uh, PC and, and, and stuff like that back there to what I am now is, is amazing to me, and I thank you all for the support. Uh, the fact that I've had a beer festival that I didn't think would fly at all, that I didn't think anyone would care about, that's grown to the extent it has, uh, is amazing. And I know some of you are like, 1,500 people, that's nothing. Toronto gets hundreds of thousands. And yeah, they do. And uh, yeah, 1,500 isn't all that much, but for an organic grassroots festival that's just doing something good bringing you guys some great craft beer while trying to raise money for charity i think it's amazing uh maybe one day i'll grow out of uh out of ridgeway and i'll have to go into either st Catharines or the falls i just think that the ridgeway uh location is beautiful and uh it just adds something to the festival i think that it's a street festival and and i, I just think it really does add something interesting to the festival that I wouldn't get from being in a building here in the falls or being in a building in St. Catharines or being out in a field in either of the places. I, I think the location just 
adds that special little something and it brings more people into the town to see the town that haven't seen it before. So I thank you guys for everything. Uh, oh, I did get asked about buses. I got asked about buses uh, this year. And I I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to get prices on a bus. But again, I, I pay for everything out of my pocket until the festival's over. And, well, my wife's written off work. Child number three is coming up. I, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to afford to get you guys a bus. But I'm going to look into it and see if I can, uh, what, what prices are out there. And uh, we'll, we'll look into that. And if I can get one that comes from the falls and one that comes from St. Catharines and, and one that comes from Welland or something like that, uh, then, then we'll do it. If I can't, I just can't. And yeah, it sounds like, uh, it sounds like they're all crazy upstairs. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be on toast. See you soon. Bye-bye.